Hi there, welcome back to Mr. Meal's Music. I'm Anthony Meal. It's time to learn how to play the game Closet Key. But before we do, make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Um, that'll let you know anytime I upload a new video for you. Um, also, if you're not familiar with the song, please check out the, um, the lyric video that I created for Closet Key. And then once you're familiar with that, then come back to this game tutorial. So to start uh, this game, I actually sit down with my kiddos and I tell them this grandiose story. So it starts with this uh, child who lives in this extraordinary castle and their room is four times as lar large as our music room and every morning this child wakes up and their servant comes into their bedroom and brings them their breakfast and then they go into this big closet to get a big fancy dress for the day and every day the servant has a special key and they reach in their pocket and they open up the closet and they get a dress for this child and then I tell them that this child has their very own garden that no one is allowed in, not even their parents. And this child's garden has huge stone walls so no one can see inside. And this servant is getting a little curious of what's actually inside the garden. So then I tell them, and they get down really low, the servant, one night, creeps outside, grabs a rope, throws it over the wall, climbs up the wall, and lands in the garden and they see these magnificent flowers and different plants spotted plants striped plants neon pink plants all these beautiful plants in this garden and they get so busy exploring that they forget that it's getting pretty late and they wind up falling asleep in the garden well the next day they wake up and they are in a panic because they realized they fell asleep in the garden, so they quickly throw the rope over the wall, climb out of the garden, and they rush up to the child's room. And then they give the child some breakfast, and then they go to the child's closet, and the servant reaches into their pocket, and I usually pull out my pocket, and it's empty. The servant panics. Where is the key? Oh no, it must have fallen out while they were playing in the garden. What if the girl finds a key in the garden? then they'll know what the servant is was in that was in the garden. So we kind of build up that whole panic of the servant was somewhere where they shouldn't have been and they're going to get caught. So then I tell them the servant runs back down, throws a rope over the garden wall, climbs in and is looking for the key but can't find the key. And then all of a sudden the servant hears something. And then this is where I pretend to be the plants. The plants start to sing I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. And they look around and they realize no one is in the garden. But something was singing it. And then I build on, build on it more that the plants were singing to the servant. And the servant noticed that as they were walking in one direction, the plants started to sing that song louder. And when a servant was walking in another direction, the plants got quieter. So we kind of build on that. And well, why do you think they were doing that? And of course, they wind up figuring out the plants start to sing louder to the, uh, to the servant when they get closer to the key. And then so we discover that the plants are going to be the ones that are helping the servant find the closet key. So at this point, it's a really great, um, great way to talk about dynamics and how it can create excitement or mystery within a song. Then... Once, once they kind of get that idea, I, I, take, I magically take out the closet key. If, I, if you can find like an old key, then this is the one from a long time ago. And let's pretend, hmm, if I had this key somewhere in the room, could you guide me to it? So then they're going to be guiding me to find the key based on how loud or how soft they are singing. Then I tell them that they're the plants and I have them find self space so they can plant themselves anywhere around the room. And then I pick one person that's sitting really quietly and I tell them to go to the corner and they're going to be the servant. So their eyes are closed. And then I have another student take the key and I tell them they can hide it anywhere in the whole room. But there's one rule. It has to be partially showing. So part of the key has to be visible by the, um, by the servant. Then I tell them, the servant's in a hurry. You need to be able to help the servant get to the key and then I make up a number depending on how much time we have in class it might be six songs so by the time you're done singing the song six times the servant hopefully has found the key if not 
then we all lose, and the only person that wins is the person that hid the key. So the hider's finding a really good spot to hide it. All of the other plants and the servant are trying to find the key. You might need to do some, um, some modeling. So as um, the plants are singing louder and louder, you might have a student that's looking, like looking around, and they forget to move their, their feet. So, so you, you might go, hey, servant, um, are the plants singing at full volume? And they'll go, no. Okay, well then don't look for the key yet until they're singing at full volume. So you need to keep your feet moving. You'll have, um, you're bound to have a few students that are just looking for the key instead of actually moving their feet. So that's um, how you play Closet Key. It's a great game for your kids to play um, in the music room, but it's also a game that they can be playing at home with mom or dad or brother or sister. Um, and it's a great way to kind of take what they have learned in the music room and uh, share it with their family. So that just about does it for the game Closet Key. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, and as always, hit the like button if you like the video, and hit subscribe and share, share, share. That's all. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.